Hey there, thank you for coming to part 2 of my tutorial. So to begin, I will be using the same crochet hook, which is a size G. And then I will begin by chaining 2 chains. Okay, so next I'm just going to go into that first chain that we did. Grab my tail and wrap it around the hook. Next I'm just going to place 5 single crochets into that same stitch. So once you're finished with your five single crochets, you can just slip stitch together. And as you can see, we are working on the antler part of the deer head. So next for row number two, I'm just going to place one single crochet into that first stitch. And then I will just place and increase into every second stitch all the way around so the pattern for this row will be one then two one then two all the way around So for rows numbers 3 to 7, I will just place one single crochet into every stitch all the way around. So for row number 8, I just placed one single crochet into the first two stitches. Then on every third stitch, I place an increase. And I did this all the way around. So for rows numbers 9 through 14, I just placed one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Then we'll meet for row number 15. So for row number 15, I just placed an increase into every second stitch. So I just placed one single crochet into the first stitch then two into every second stitch and I did this all the way around So for rows number 16 through 23, I just placed one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So I will be stopping at row 23 for the small part of the antlers. And I will repeat the same pattern all over again for the long part of the antlers. Okay, so to begin the long antler piece, we will start row number 24 by placing one single crochet into the first stitch and then we will be placing two single crochets into every second stitch all the way around. So one, then two, into the next stitch. All the way around. So 
so for the next step I just placed um, stuffing into the horn be just because once you start um, making it bigger it's kind of I find it hard to stuff so right now would be a good time to stuff it so once I was finished with row number 24 I would normally just slip stitch together but I'm just going to place one single crochet into it and I will just be placing one single crochet all the way around uh, and I did this just to save time and not slip stitch every row I just crocheted until the long antler piece reached 13 and a half inches long. So next I just grabbed like about 9 pipe cleaners and I just kind of twisted the end so that it would be easier to um, insert. So the next step was kind of tricky and annoying but I just stuck to it and stuffed it. So to begin the ears, I will begin by chaining 4 chains and then you can just hold on to the 4th stitch because we will be going back into that stitch. So next I will be chaining another 4 chains and then I will yarn over twice and place 1 treble crochet into that stitch that I told you to hold on and the next 2 stitches as well. So next I will just place 9 treble crochets into that last stitch. So once you have 9 treble crochets into that stitch, then we're just going to place 1 treble crochet into the next 3 stitches. So for the last stitch, I just did the same as the beginning. I chained 4 chains and then I slip stitched to the center for the last stitch. And then I just chained one and placed one single crochet into that same stitch and another single crochet into the next stitch. Once I got to the third stitch, I just placed three single crochets into that same stitch. went ahead and placed one single crochet into the next six stitches so 
So next I just place two half double crochets into the next stitch. And then I just placed three double crochets into the next stitch. And then another two half double crochets into the next stitch. So next I just placed one single crochet into each stitch for the next six stitches. Then I just placed three single crochets on that very corner and finished off with one single crochet into each stitch all the way until I reached the end then I slip stitch together. And that's it for the ear. And of course I like I cut a really long tail to sew it on later.